Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In this video, I will discuss with you that how can we mesh our slab or frame or share all and also how we replicate our building for our desired extract. So let's start. First of all, we have to open our e tabs and then um, I have opened the previous frame. If you are following my previous lecture, then you know about that frame. And then to mesh the slab, first of all, we have to select go ahead, select slab properties slab section six in slab select close um, there have to select and again select another so we have uh, select all of slab including our stir and then we have to go assign then go shell and here you will find floor auto mesh option so from here click that option and use 2 into 2 and click here approximate size of mesh I mean which size will use for mesh um, it's better to use 2 then click OK Select her mesh and 2 into 2. It will be better 2 into 2. Then apply. And click OK. And there have also option. You can select auto co cut. It's not mandatory. Just mesh uh, object info then use a 2 by 2 and you can use have um, 3 by 3 4 by 4 that's not good but 2 by 2 is um, good and also use a 2 inch uh, sorry 2 feet size mesh size 2 feet then we have applied it and ok and we're seeing that in every web we're seeing mesh have completed so after mesh now our all work are complete we have defined all materials properties we have um, draw our building we have um, assigned our everything and if you don't see that you can follow my previous lecture the link are given in description then um, we have to do another thing that uh, we have to increase our story so um, we'll just copy them as um, the, uh, every story will be like second story so we'll copy that portion I mean I will use replicate here I'll use replicate for that portion from that portion and use that for upper level so first of all we have to go edit then edit a student grid system from here at quick s3 I mean uh, how much s3 you want to take so four s3 they have base first second available here and um, s3 three four will draw and five will draw so click ok you're seeing that there are grid system have been completed then uh, we'll use here plan view second story okay okay then we'll select from here select that just to select um, you can clear that and to select first of all left click here and that release, release that okay that's a select 
and from here you have to go again edit replicate and here s3 replicate and from to a strip we'll draw and like that uh, just uh, press, press on 5 and scroll down so 4 5 4 3 we'll do that then apply then ok then again go 3d plan our all floor have been drawn but uh, there have a problem if we see that here uh, here the str the red portion are not available so uh, this is not available because uh, at the time of replicate we didn't select that so now we we'll select that we'll also select that and go replicate edit go replicate s3 and for which s3 we we'll together 5 4 and 3 apply it's done okay, rotate that if you see that or a square also done that is square also done and after that uh, we have to draw trace for here and so to, to draw trace uh, again we have to go edit edit history add quick history then ok here founder history and then we have to replicate that uh, story I mean uh, history 5 for that and then we'll delete the unwanted portion so uh, this is a uh, one way and another way have just draw everything manually like that first of all go here plan six story apply okay that is the six story and we know that here will be our dress so for that uh, First of all, draw beam. Yeah, draw quick beam. Beam at 10 to 18. Here at the beam, we have draw all our beam. Then draw slab. Uh, go here, slab. Slab six is slab a straight line. Here, here. So here, here is our slab and then draw column and obviously you have to maintain that there should be on a string because we'll draw column only for on a string so we'll draw column first of all we know that Column 14 to 14 for that portion, that portion, and that portion here for column 14 and 18. And we also know that uh, it will be offset in y minus 2, minus 2. And uh, if you don't know about that, and there we have to provide 90 degree. And uh, if you don't know why it is you can see my previous lecture here so in that way click here and the, then go for 3d mode and here everything also now we have to select that portion again
go to plan view story 6 apply okay and then select that then go to assign to apply here load there will be live load and dead load only assign shell load uniform load like that dead load you know previous to have applied 100 apply again select that live load 40 apply again select that and only floor finish anything uh, as a design requirement you can take that or as your code okay and then we have to mesh that assign shell go to mesh floor 2 by 2 that to okay apply okay done or everything are done then go to 3d plan view and um, here of everything are done or building or complete to analysis so um, uh, today's video uh, that was uh, that how can we do that perfectly and uh, then save it and go for run before that uh, check the model check the model and select wall it's taking they have no warning masses so go for run analysis run analysis for our building so here we have run or analyze it and then we have to click here for another change of that building and uh, for partition all it's showing the huge deformation here also for dead load it's showing very low displacement and for live load also it's showing very low displacement uh, because uh, our load was not very huge and here our beam sensor and column sensor very good and, and that was the procedure to analyze analyze that and from here you can see the first of all go here just to remove the floor apply okay and also okay and then you can take from here you can take for different types of load according to requirement and then from here you can take the reaction at foundation so for that FZ will you just FZ apply and here is the foundation load for dead load or live load floor finish and for partition wall that was it and was that if you want to see was that if you want to see the share force bending moment for different types of X uh, as for dead lot axial first apply this is the axial first for dead lot is the axial force this is the torsion 
intent share first intent share and share total this is for share and for moment this is for moment share 3 moment total and in this way you can analyze your building so in next video I'll show you that how will apply how will apply earthquake load and in another video we'll show you that how we'll use wheel load and then we'll after that after applied all kinds of load we'll use analysis and design for that and also we'll use load combination according to a code so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video thank you